Hey guys, it's JT Tran, and I have a very special return guest, well, hey. <laughs> Haley Quinn. Um, for those of you who don't know, Haley Quinn is a dating expert and recently a TED speaker. Woo! Congratulations. I have to say, at that moment I did my TED, I walked on stage, and I remember walking off the stage, and everything <laughs> in between is, is gone. It's like, it was just so amazing, huh? Yeah, very overwhelming, but completely awesome. Cool, cool. And what was the, what was the name of your speech? Love is the biggest distraction to Ooh. ourselves. Oh. oh yeah, so I'm kind of going renegade on the whole dating thing and, and talking about mindfulness and meditation. But before that, I have helped a lot of men right. with, with their dating skills. Well, why don't you tell our audience who aren't familiar with you and your work a little mm -hmm. bit about your background? Of course. So um, I actually got started uh, in the pickup industry and I was a ghostwriter for loads of the big mm. American pickup artists. I don't think they'll mind that much if I call <laughs> them out. Um, so who do I work with? Juggler, Ross Jeffries, uh, who I'd had dinner with a couple of nights ago. He's still kind of a friend of mine. Um, Carlos Suma. Uh, AFC Adam. So you Peter know like training, the, the, the male training. mentality. Oh yeah. yeah I've, okay. I've had guys ringing me up from the ensuite bathroom because they've got a girl home <laughs> and they don't know what to, how to deal with it's her. It's like, help me Haley, help me. <laughs> I'm like the big, the very liberal and open-minded big sister very that they cool. didn't have. <laughs> so I've just come out to LA to help more people and kind of reach out over here and I heard that you wanted to talk about Tinder. Tinder. See, the thing is, I've never been a very big fan of online dating. I've researched it and even came up with like an ebook. But to be honest, I like meeting like women in real life. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of guys are like, how do I meet girls, especially on Tinder? Because that's the big new thing. Right, exactly. And I think I'm the same with you. I think everyone prefers meeting people in real life, mm -hmm. in real world, where you can create impact. However, I think if you are part of the Tinder generation, you want to use it, you want to have success with it, and have another route to meet people. Right. And the thing is, like, your Tinder strategies were so effective. It got on, what, Nightline or? Right. So, I so you actually know what you're talking about when it comes to Tinder. Yeah, That's I did, good. <laughs> I did split testing on Tinder mm -hmm. to see what, like, it was actually particularly for a female profile. Okay. To see two things. I wanted to know which female profile performed better. So I did me as normal Haley versus me as, like, I literally had a makeup artist come in. Mm -hmm. They photoshopped the, I had like massive boobs and a tiny oh. waist. And I was like, okay, which, and this is on my YouTube channel. And uh, after that, I also went to see what messages guys were sending. And I'm not joking to the, the, just to give you guys a perspective, me with my big like fake boobs and like perfect makeup, 300 matches wow. in 30 minutes. In 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Wow, no. and that's then, the that's just the life of being a, a girl, I guess. Right, like so the the super hot hotted up version of me got that much minute matches, and also I saw all the guys' messages that were that mm. were trying. So that was also really insightful. So what I do a lot of the time is actually with the guys that I work with, I help them to build a Tinder or Happen presence. Really, I love what you're doing. I think mm. meeting people in real life completely agree is the way forward. But if you want to build out a good Tinder profile, I've got a few simple tips that you can do with it. Okay, you guys ready? Ready? All right. Here we right. Go. So first of all, remember, Tinder is not the only online dating app out there. Happen, Hinge, Bumble. You might find actually that there's a better quality of women. One good thing that you can do with Tinder that's a utility is it has that passport feature mm -hmm. and functionality. So this is a bit of like a trade secret. Oh, okay. But if you are not having good luck in your immediate environment with Tinder, mm -hmm. you might want to do two things. Drop the pin somewhere that has a higher population density. Ah. So where I'm from in London, if you are living in the suburbs, not so great in the first couple of kilometers, in the center of London, there is a lot of yeah. attractive women that will get into your catchment area. Go to where they're at, right? right. Or here virtually go to where they're at. Right, exactly. Okay. Or tip two, even worse, we've discovered in <laughs> London that if you are a London gentleman on Tinder and then you drop your pin actually outside of London in the immediate, like, easy to reach, you would say, homes, hometowns or mm -hmm. home counties, you get a better response rate because people are like, oh, it's a London person, you know, yeah. and they get really excited. Likewise, if you're going to go to a foreign city, drop a pin there two weeks ahead and you can uh, actually start to build up Pre-planning. Pre-plan the like dates. Like a this. Because they take time to convert. And the mm. thing about online dating is, yes, no matter what you do, you're still going to get flakes. You're still going to get dropouts. Yeah. So actually, having some leak time to build up to something is often very sensible. Yeah. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Definitely not with online dating. Definitely <laughs> not. So going on to the profile, um, a couple of things that you can do with that. 
one of the big issues with online dating is trust. It's like, right, right we don't know like who we're going to meet or if they're going to turn out to be who they say they are. So if you can actually have a supporting account attached to it, whether that's a Twitter feed, an Instagram feed, or even like a YouTube channel, something that says, this is who I am, that's great. Some of you out there might actually be able to create a social media brand really effectively. One of my guys in the UK, he's actually a karate champion. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> he's like a, a young guy, really smart. So I was like, oh my God, what you're doing is made for Instagram. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. You can get a selection of photos done and it doesn't have to be karate. You could be into personal training, travel. Right. If you've got some really nice looking photos that you can actually create a gallery around and you build up a following on there, that then links to your Tinder account. So not only do people see that you are who you say you are, but it's like yeah, an extra... Like value, higher uh -huh. value. Higher and the thing value is like, status. we all Google now, right? Before right. we go on it, we Google it. So you look, it's like, who am I Tindering here, mm -hmm. right? Right, so you can use that to your advantage mm -hmm. though. So I would focus on one form of social media and completely own it, make it look really high spec, because also this is a personal brand that you're presenting. Right. And you know what, it's not all about being the best looking person. If you have well edited photos, they look super professional, not in terms of your actual profile, but on the Instagram or the linked accounts, or you have a very active, very funny Twitter feed, something that says, demonstrates other things and other qualities about your life, so you've got that extra dimension. Um, with your actual profile and the pictures that you want to choose, first of all, put a selection on there, it sounds really, it's obvious but not everybody does it though. right exactly and it's true if you see a girl on there and she's got two pictures I'm always like that <laughs> is like a catfish yeah cat it's like is that real mm -mm, you know so people need to know who you are the best photos that perform best are often taken in natural light outdoors mm -hmm. but yeah naturalistic and also right full body doing something exactly so like one of my one of the guys that I work with pretty closely he had one of them like jumping down a wind tunnel another one of him on holiday so right. again all those values that are around his lifestyle are being communicated through the photos yeah. that he's chosen and they're really doing the work. Basically, don't do like the bathroom selfie. Don't do a bathroom okay. selfie. Don't have like, you know, when the, like, the flash is so bright, you've got like red eye. Like washed out. Don't be surrounded by tons of drunk friends. Don't be surrounded also with don't go shirtless. You know, that's the one uh, thing. Ah, see, that was going to ask. I hear kind of both sides where it's, it's very douchey, but this is a hookup app, right? This is like girls yeah, are looking for a guy with a nice body. Yeah, but I've, mm. I think statistically, this is a statistical fact. That, okay. Uh, a bare torso is the biggest, like, no. for women. And okay. I think that's because even if they are looking for a hookup and they do want to have, like, a hot dude or whatever, it's something about the overt sexuality, like the penis picture, just doesn't work for women. It just doesn't, like, they'd rather She look. might think, like, I want to hook up, but he might have slept with too many girls, or right. it's like, or this like, is too, too much. Yeah, it's too obvious. So I would say instead, it's much better to have, you know, you know fashionable, well-tailored clothes. You don't have to spend any money on that at all. It's about looking okay. current. It's about being well-groomed. Good photo selection as well that shows an aspect of your lifestyle. When it comes to the actual profile, let's just write something short, but something that's original. A very simple thing that you can do is called um, the list of thirds, which means if you list think three items in a row, it sounds good. So yeah. you could literally say, uh, fan of, um, like fan of, I don't know, freaking almond butter, the new Star Wars movie, and contain all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can say that. You can say, I like whiskey, uh, whiskey, crazy golf, and girls with a sm girls who are smart. Something like that would be good. <laughs> Basically, less is more. Less is more. Okay. And three distinct things. Do not say two things that are too generic, like I like going out or like hanging out with I my like friends. I like fun. I like food. <laughs> it's like, you are everyone if you say that, so make sure you specify. Okay, next thing in terms of timing of the stuff, because timing okay. is very important on Tinder. Uh, and other online dating apps. It's not like, I don't know, the 80s where you m waited two days to call. <laughs> On a landline, no less. Right, exactly, <laughs> and you got the voicemail, how stressful. Um, instead, actually, if you match with a woman, I'd recommend messaging her immediately. Okay. And the reason Striking while the iron is hot. Yes. Also because I find the woman will use Tinder not in a, in a tall, regular fashion. It might be like, she's come home, it's Sunday night, she's fed up of being single, she's kind of bored. So she's like, oh, screw it, I'll just go on Tinder for a yeah. bit. Uh, that She will quickly lose interest in that app. 
someone else will hook up with her. Mm -hmm. She'll get pissed off with it and delete the whole thing. So it's actually really good to strike while she, the iron is hot and she's clearly showing you she's in the mood to chat mm -hmm. and is probably bored. So it's capitalize on that moment. So when you start up a Tinder conversation, mm -hmm. get the number, go on the date as fast as possible. Yes. Don't have like long, extended, mm -hmm. deep heart. No, no <laughs> absolutely. That okay. is like, that's like the worst thing for online dating. Literally, I've had some of my, my male clients come to me and they've maybe been emailing this girl for like a month. It's like, they, it's like war and peace, what they've like exchanged <laughs> with her bookwise and yet they meet in real life and either like they don't get on there's no chemistry or she's not feeling it and it's just oh also you're not really i think you should be using this to filter for kind of time wasters and people who just yes. want to chat so never be afraid of saying hey you know i'm not a huge fan of chatting on here here's my number send me yours or let's chat on whatsapp that if she has any interest in meeting people in real life and is open to doing that she should be sending you her number and feel comfortable to do so within a very short amount of time now what about what what's the, the, should the guy yeah, yeah yeah it's like hey what's up what's up girl <laughs> all right so i was going to give you some extra tips on what to actually say on the first message right. as i mentioned before we don't want to go too generic because that's going to make you seem like every other dude we also don't want to ask her out straight off the bat because that will just say suggest to her that you're only interested in her looks so you have to wait for there to be a personal quality or something you can comment on. So I'll tell you what you should say. The first line I would go for, I just use a very simple structure. Um, mm -hmm. I like things like great work on the blank. Great work on the, the blank. So for instance, okay. just look at her pictures. It mm -hmm. could be uh, great work on the skiing, great work on the turtle, great work on the book collection, Great work on like how, I was gonna say how you're eating that ice cream, but that sounded a bit better. <laughs> uh, but the structure is the same. Award okay. praise sounds kind of dominant and a little bit sexy. Another really great hook phrase you could use is, so tell me about, so mm. tell me about the blankety blank. Okay. It's a statement, but also showing interest in her life. Yeah, and it's said in quite a commanding way as well, mm. because I think here's the thing. If you are masculine, a little bit commanding, a little bit dominant with the women that you're speaking to in the language, you never have to say anything that that's that explicit or that sexual. She's just gonna get the vibe right. from you, right? right? So it's like, if you say, meet me for coffee tomorrow. It, again, it's one of those things, it's you're not- It's making that assumption. Right, right. That, that she's gonna say yes. And also, and also what you're doing is like, with those little blankety blank statements, it's like you can be looking through the pictures and go, okay, what's the thing here that she's, that she, you know, you can just literally have the statement there and you just need to find one noun, whether that's like, you know, a noun is a, pe a person, a place or a thing, thing right. and you just slot it in. So it's easy to get the churn out because a lot of the time you're gonna be messaging a lot of girls. Yes. As a guy, you definitely have to, to play the field because you're, uh -huh. you're, you're, you're swiping left or right on like hundreds of girls. Right, exactly. And here's the trick I also, I also would say that's a really good, point in the conversation to go and ask for that phone number is if you can say i like something mm -hmm. about you so pick a personal quality you want to be able to say i like that you're kind of funny i like that you're smart but a little bit rude um i like that you're sharp i like that you're calling me out on all my bad jokes i like that you're flirting with me if you can say that and you can like put your finger on a, like a personal quality of hers and remember it doesn't have to be technically right a woman isn't really looking for that she's looking to be noticed to have that validation to have your attention to have the flirtation if you can say that line and you can say it with some certainty that you picked a sensible quality for her mm -hmm. if she accepts that quality and is like yes i am and starts playing back and forth with you that is the moment to go in for the phone number gotcha cool so you just do immediately as soon as you match straight up message so tell me about the or great work on the, and then you can say, how's your Wednesday going? That Even that's better than how's, how are you? Then after a bit of back and forth, you wanna say, after maybe a, a few messages, I like that you're X, Y, Z. If she responds positively, hey, I'm not too into chatting on here, but let's connect on WhatsApp. Here's my number, what's yours? Cool, cool. That's some really good stuff. Again, <laughs> I I just don't like online dating. No, me neither. So I've like, I've like tried it and I'm like, this sucks. I, I love meeting people in real life, you know, because you get to get that connection impact. But 
I do know there's going to be guys out there that are going to want to mm. know how to hack Tinder and to get good at that. So. Yes. Well, this has been some really great stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, how can our audience find more about you? Right, there's two ways I think you're gonna be good. I am on YouTube as well as Hayley Quinn XX, not three X's, just two. It'll be in the YouTube description yeah, box. Absolutely, and if you are interested in texting and stuff, if you go to HayleyQuinn.com, which is H-A-Y-L-E-Y-Q-U-I-N-N.com, forward slash texting, I've got a free ebook on texting, which is like a, I think there's like 125 messages in there, so if that doesn't nice. get you through your Tinder messaging. Nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Haley. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Bye, guys. See you. Hey there. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news, too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right. We've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.